making today's news we have seen her still haunted by the slapping away of his family also making this exclusive we have six charge in connection with saint mary Kanjabos. also coming up in this video we have aspiring artists get wet up by cop right before we talk about those things do you guys know the daily procedure please consider subscribing to this channel if you are new and click the bell to stay updated with all the latest news in jamaica also feel free to leave a like on this video so youtube can recommend this channel and this video to some more like abiding citizen so them can get to see what take place in the jamaica society because our men aim over here so if you try and make jamaica safe again also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and share your guys opinion one pertaining to each topic let me know what you guys think too much of the commercial though now we get straight into the video aspiring artists get wet up by cop residents of irish town in st andrew believe that one of their own got dashed last friday because of a misunderstanding the garden town police and the independent commission of investigations are reportedly investigating an incident near maryland in st andrew at about 2 45 pm in which a man got dashed by an off-duty policeman the cops say they are searching for a second suspect who they believe escaped from the scene but residents say Steve Brown, a 30-year-old and aspiring recording artist, got wet up due to a mix-up. They say that he lost his wallet while on board a truck and made an attempt to retrieve it from the vehicle. And another attempt charged this truck. So they must have boom rush the truck before and then come for boom rush it again. So him go up in a taxi and come out and go to the truck. And the man which is the truck driver wet him up because him could have feel like them come to violate him again one resident said shadina robinson a 23 year old remember her brother as protective and one who was working hard to find fame in music he went by the stage name twist the gb he was very protective of me because i am the youngest we had plans for his music video on saturday and of course I was looking forward to it. I supported him in everything because he always wanted to do music. That's what he aspired towards. But my mom always encouraged him to do something else on the side and he was also doing that. We really never expect this to happen. A tear I Robinson shared. Meanwhile, residents express fear that their usually quiet farming community is being invaded by criminal elements and call for a greater presence by the security force. Cena still haunted by the slapping away of his family. The screams of his dear wife and members of his family pleading for mercy before they got dashed away by bad boys who then set their five apartment home in Anova Blaze on that fateful night on October 8, 2000, 2015 still ring loud in the head of strength three year old Marvin Bloomfield. That night he watched helplessly from another room where he was hiding as the bad boy slapped away his wife, son Mark, daughter Kerian, grandchildren Alia and Davian, and close relative 29 year old. Brian Mangaru, I felt helpless. I wanted to do something, anything just to stop this, but I was outnumbered. Bloomfield told Sunday cleaner. They told them to lie face down and even though she was pleading for her life, they still dash her, dash her away like a dog and then walk away like nothing happened. He later heard that others got wet up and later pronounced by the police. From where he was hiding, the perpetrator were heard saying that the house must be tortured. Bloomfield described his wife as one of the most kind-hearted human beings in the Lagood Marchstone era who never refused to respond to a cry for help. I am still hurting just seeing their graves. Sometimes I cry when I remember the good days that I had with my wife. She was like an angel on earth, he said, his voice shaking with emotions. When we're ready, I carry a pillow and a towel that I spread on her grave and lie down on her and talk to her because she was the best thing that ever happened in my life, he stated according to Bloomfield. One of the suspects 
was familiar with his house and would even be fed there. After the tragedy, he was given a house by food for the poor in Jamaica, but that cannot replace the joy of his entire family. Every turn I turn in the house, I think about them, but God give me the strength to carry on, and I look to him every day he shared. Giving thanks for his remaining, for his remaining children and grandchildren, seeing a Bloomfield has found some comfort in the fact that after 12 men who took away his loved ones, Nine got dashed away in gang feud or by the police. Another cannot be accounted. And two are in prison with no possibility of parole until after 80 years. I still wish I had the chance to give them a decent burial. But even that they took from me, he lamented. Six charge in connection with St. Mary Ganjabos. The narcotics police of now charged six men were arrested following an incident in St. Mary last month. Charged with possession of ganja, dealing in ganja, and taking step preparatory to export ganja, a Romanian right, 30 year old, a Yikla of Mike Town district in Manchester. Damian Williams, a 41 year old, a Mason of Junction in St. Elizabeth. Dennis Allen, a 59 year old, a farmer of Grand Spain. In Kingston 8, 21 year old Trent Walker of Anatobia in St. Mary, Raymond Foster, a 33 year old a fisherman of Art Street in Kingston 4, Gregory Forbes, a 42 year old farmer of Robins Bay in St. Mary. They are charged jointly and are scheduled to appear in the St. Mary Parish Court on Wednesday, June 9. On Saturday, May, on Saturday, May 29, the narcotics police were called in when the Jamaica Defense Force Coast Guard intercepted a 30 foot boat at Robins Bay in St. Mary. The police say the vessel was searched and 35 netted bags containing 861.5 pounds of compressed ganja were found. Six persons on the vessel were arrested. According to the police, the ganja has an estimated street value. 3.5 million Jamaican dollars. People make me know what I feel like that Panala do those incidents to take place. Cause, and the same thing I repeat over and over every day is a different bad news. I make the headline. Yeah man, no joke. Oh, make me know what I feel like that still. Leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if anyone click the bell. Until the next time, you know what I'm out.